Ever heard of the quote that says you only live once? I bet you did. And let me tell you, it's a hoax, guys. You see, in real life, there are some animals that can actually stay alive after death. So, let's hop into it and get it started. First on the list is the chickens. Have you ever had an encounter where you killed a chicken and only to see it flopping around with its head cut off for some minutes? Well, the human body system is different from that of chickens. Chickens do not have all of their body functions depending on their brain like us, which is one main reason why chickens can survive for a few minutes after its head has been chopped off. The remaining part of the body is much active despite the head being gone, but it will surely die as time passes on. Next on the list is an insect we are quite familiar with. This one can be called a member of almost all houses across the world, which is the cockroach. Those stinky insects, for lots of reasons, are part of our lives. Sometimes they can be frustrating, stubborn, and act like they own the environment to themselves. This insect has the tenacity to live without some part of its body and last for weeks without giving up to the insect afterlife world. Have you wondered why you hit cockroaches so hard and it still ends up with crawling to safety instead of dying of your hit? Well, cockroaches have a body system that is called an open circulatory system. This system functions on hemolymph instead of blood, which results in their injury not having bleeding insight. Their body system helps them survive any attack or infections. When a cockroach gets injured, the wound tends to uncover immediately due to their body system. Also, a cockroach can survive without its head for weeks, but it will get to die once starvation sets in. Don't be surprised about that. They can breathe through some holes in their body, which biologists call spiracles. So, yeah, that was it for this one. Let's keep going. Next on the list is the salamander. For lots of reasons, this animal has been attributed to longer life, and some proverbs are centered on it. This animal can reproduce its part of the body whenever it comes across a prey or unfavorable situation. What is bizarre about this animal's abilities is, salamander part reproduce can function way better than its latter. All these are possible for the amphibian animal due to a special protein in its body system that contributes to the ability to reproduce its body part. There are lots of animals that fall under this category of life after death. Next, we have the bees. One thing comes to mind with mentioning bees, which is their damn sting, and that's exactly what we'll be talking about. You see guys, once a bee stings someone, its sting needle along with part of its belly gets torn up, and they stay within the skin of the person who got stung. And from this point, the bee sting needle parts stay pretty much alive on the person who got stung. By the way, the bee itself does not live for much time after stinging someone though. So, if you get to touch the insect sting, you'll get stung again. And why is that? This is simply because the bee venom stays active in the needle, and it'll even have the venom pass to any amount of people that touch it as if it never left the bee body. So when you see a dead bee, think twice before you get to touch it. While insects seem to take most of the aforementioned, number five on the list is an aquatic animal, which is the octopus. Octopus is that one aquatic animal that can have its body part dismantled and yet still be active for a while. When an octopus legs and arms are cut off from the main body part, it will still be able to respond to stimuli as if it still has its body part together. This is possible due to having most of its nerve cells in its tentacles, which results in the octopus active response despite its situation. Octopus also can regrow their leg or arm after it's been cut off, and it usually will take an average of 130 days for that regrowing process to complete. Next on the list is the flies. You might be familiar with this insect's ability to live after death. Flies are the real definition of rugged. This insect does not only have a life after death. This insect can withstand intense weather that would take the life of another insect in a blink of an eye. Flies, most especially the female Musca domestica, have a surreal ability to live up to some days without their head intact. You find that bizarre? Well, that is the reality of the female fly. After some days, the female house fly tends to take its last breath after struggling to remain alive without its head. This ability is limited to only the female fly. While it has its head off, the female fly can still struggle to fly some little distance, take some walk, and is also available for mating with the male fly. Pretty weird shit. Next on the list, the snakes. And let's agree that the majority of people across the world fear snakes, and they actually have a point. Call since snakes made it to this list, that simply means they have the ability of staying alive after death. People think that by taking the snake head off, then the snake is dead and they can call it a day. And the truth is far from that, as despite getting its head off, its body can still sense and react to whatever happens around it. And not just that, even its head can stay alive for some hours and still discharge its venoms to anyone who comes close. Snakes also can sense the body heat 
feet despite its head being separated from the body and can attack even when you think it's dead. I kind of like this one though as I personally have a green python snake since 2019, thinking of making a video about it. What do you think? Anyways, let's keep moving. Now we have another crawling creature making it to the list. The flatworms. Flatworms easily regenerate their body parts whenever their body parts are cut. A bizarre thing about a flatworm is whenever you cut into two, it can regrow itself a tail for the separate bodies cut into two. And that's not all. This worm, whenever you cut it into separate parts, it'll grow itself into a carbon copy with those cuts. Yeah, you know now, but be gentle on this creature while you're anxiously experimenting it out. While the list is gradually going to an end, we can't end it without mentioning the sea turtles. This sea creature has a high ability to survive without its brain. The sea turtle can live up to 5,000 hours without its head intact. The creature can stay alive this long by generating its dying hours of energy from its body parts like the throat and its skin. The heart of this creature can stay alive and function without the presence of the head and brain. Strangely, this one can stay alive in such intense situations while the higher class of animals, which is us, humans, can't do any of these. Anyways, we have our last animal on the list now, the frogs. Frogs can actually stay alive for few days with a totally dead brain. And not just that, they can literally eat and jump as if nothing is wrong with them. And if you get to turn a dead brain frog upside down, it'll find its way to be on its feet no matter what. I can't just phantom all of these creatures having a zombie style of living whenever they're dead. What do you think about these animals and which is bizarre for you? Let me know in the comment section below and you could get your response pinned. Also don't forget to like this video if you liked it guys. Until next time.